then. Hello everyone, my name is Christian Michael Ortiz, or by my usual name, um, I have several. DK Mozart, DJ Bishop, DJ Starflight, uh, take your pick. Um, I'm making this video for a, um, for a project for my communications class. We were supposed to be talking about a, our culture, or a, a culture we picked out. Um, the culture I want to talk about that changed who I am. I'm not exactly part of it anymore. It's more of a, it's more religion. It's a it's the religion my family is a part of, or my immediate family. Um, they they follow the religion faith of um, paganism, and some of you may get the concept of it's oh my god, it's paganism. They're witches. Burn them. No, no, no. It's not like that at all. We don't we don't do the whole evil stuff. Some some concepts behind paganism are a little bit too complicated for me to go into because I don't know much about it because I'm not pagan myself. I'm actually Christian and I don't really want to go into that so I'll just talk about my family's perspective of it. Um, the idea of paganism is basically there are many gods and goddesses of the culture um, that they worship. There's they worship the concept of nature, fire, wind, air, earth, and all that. Um, just last uh, two nights ago, I think it was uh, last night or two nights ago. Um, the my family coven came over to um, do a full moon ritual. And no, it's not the kind of rituals where they had to do like some blood sacrifice or anything like that. We don't do that. If we did that, we'd probably get in trouble. Not like we would do it in the first place. No, not the day would do it in the first place. Um, it's mostly sage and worshiping the nature and all of that, saying a few prayers here and there. Don't know much about it because I never actually witnessed it firsthand because I usually stay away from that sort of stuff. I was pagan at one point. But I got out of it, because, well, I'm religiously confused. But other than that, um, the pagan community is actually pretty huge, for that matter. Um, we've grown quite a bit. Um, we do PPD, which is Pagan Pride Day, every, um, every year. Um, we do, uh, there's going to be an upcoming um, Witches Bazaar, which is something like that which um, our family is hosting. It's not going to be here. I think it's the they're trying to find a place to put it. Um, but the community itself is basically a very open community. The culture itself is very open. Um, we accept all, ra all races, all um, walks of life who worship that sort of thing. Um, it's, it's a very big culture from what I've seen. Um, there are druids, witches, I guess you can say wizards, <laughs> but we don't exactly do, no, they don't exactly do magic. I keep saying we, but I'm not, I'm not a pagan, I, why do I keep saying we? But yeah, the, the culture is pretty diverse if you want to look into it. Can't exactly give you any details on it, but I've been around long enough to know, um, they really rely upon the energy of earth, of the earth around us. They are nature. I guess you can call them a bunch of hippies. <laughs> uh, witches have gardens that they tie their life to. They um, they have altars. I have my I have an altar myself, but it's not a pagan altar. It's just an altar to worship dragons. But if anyone want to look looks at that as a pagan altar, you can. I don't really care. Um. We worship mystical beings that would be seen as myths, fairies, dragons, elves, gnomes, outside the seeing eye, sort of thing. We 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 can tell the concept that they may it may not be real, but in our mind it's a fantasy world. You know that I don't know. I can't really describe it too well, or else it'll sound like I'm making fun of it. But 
Yeah. My mom, my mother herself, is the high priestess of the coven with um, a sort of a board she talks to, a few other people um, who are leaders of the coven who take care of certain... Cl- they, they, hold, they host classes for the coven itself. Uh, New Journeys class, uh, a few of the classes here and there. Um, some communications classes as well. So they can, like, ha- how to talk to people about it. How to communicate with them about it. How to show them that we're not just a bunch of people going, getting all naked and talking and everything. We're not... We're not we don't do that. Um, we don't do the Beltane thing. Beltane... It's just a, another part of our part of their religion. Oh, I got... I keep saying R again. It's not me. I'm Christian. Uh, honestly, I'm I'm open to the idea of paganism myself. I was pagan myself once, but I don't know if I can get back into it myself. And by the way, that's my object for the project. If you're talking about my altar. <laughs> It's not completely seen, but there it is. But, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, or anything about this, um, I won't be making a follow-up video, because it's probably the only time I'm going to be making a video like this. But if you have questions, comments, concerns, or anything you want to know about it, put it down below. And, yeah, just so, if anyone's in the area... Um, there will be a Witch's Bazaar um, popping in. If you want to know about it, look up um, uh, Covenant of the Green Moon on Facebook or whatever, and there might be a comment about it somewhere. Honestly, if anything, I might just go help out with it. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been my project for my communications class in college and for Nova, uh, Northern Virginia no other Virginia Community College out in Woodbridge. Uh, thank you all, and have a good day. Whoop, whoop.